Peace, everybody. Thank you for tuning in. Um, today, I wanted to just come by, drop some recent information, experience for anybody who plans to travel to Mexico. I know that I was promoting my experience there heavy. So just to let you know, um, if you plan to re-enter the U.S. with um, through the air, so with any airline, you will be required to take a COVID test. Um, they do not do this for domestic flights, and this is not the case for traveling through um, the sea or on the ground. We opted to actually leave Tulum, Mexico, and go to closer to the border. We thought we could find a way from Mexico City, which is a little bit northern, north of um, Tulum, but it was still a good 10 hours, 10, 10 to 12 hour drive from the closest airport in Texas. So we did decide to have, well, we did have to actually fly closer to the border into Monterey, Mexico. And there we caught a Greyhound bus for about four hours just to get to Texas. And from Texas, we did fly into Philadelphia. So eventually we did get home. Um, as you can imagine, we did not plan to come home in this way. However, it was about two days before we were due to like get on a plane from Cancun, Mexico and go back home where we learned that Joe Biden did pass this law requiring people um, re-entering into the U.S., even U.S. citizens, to take a COVID-19 test. In the midst of finding that out, um, we found out the pricing out there, which was about $400 a COVID test, to take the COVID test um, in Mexico at like a hotel or at the at their like hospital so with that we decided to spend our four hundred dollars somewhere else because see this is the thing we learned our power out there we learned that you know people will tell you no people will tell you you can't do what you you can't stick to your beliefs why are you not trying to take the covid test you sick you denying it no it doesn't have anything to do with that we actually take very good care of our bodies and we do not believe in the western world medicine we do not believe in the news these are all things that we believe to be coming from a, a group a small group of elite people that owns a majority of the resources that owns majority of the wealth in the world and they're just feeding you information from their perspective and you know what that is okay like if that is their purpose here then that is their purpose here you know we do not have to participate we do not have to compromise what we believe for anything you know um and so it is what it is like if we were in another country but i'm glad we decided to not go too far from the continent and to still be on the same continent as our house is um, but before this experience, we had no idea that this would be a requirement to get back into the U.S. So we decided to take that $400 and to hitchhike it closer to the border and to go to the U.S. on the ground versus flying. And from there, we will fly wherever we need to fly, you know. So that was a very successful plan, but as you can imagine, it was a very stressful one, very, uh, just a roller coaster because we, we are away, we are in a whole other culture. We, there's a language barrier, there's COVID stuff going on that's different, you know, um, in every state in Mexico, it was different. It was treated differently. You've seen, um, you'll see like in Tulum, there was a very openness. There wasn't as many people, you know, wearing masks like as they sit and eat or as they drive or as they just walk. You'll see people put on masks when they go into grocery stores, when they go into places. But for the most part, it was a very free energy, free flow, like meet you where you're at. But we do got to require some things. But it's nothing too extensive. But then we went into Mexico City where everyone, you know, 
during the day, everywhere had on a mask. Like, it wasn't required because we opted not to wear a mask while we went on our morning walks and while we walked to the stores, just because we have to breathe. Like, that's the most essential thing. Um, and that was that's just our choice. Like, just respect my choice and understand that I understand what comes with you know, choosing this because, you know, coming back home really taught me like what comes with sticking to your guns and what comes with saying no and what comes with saying yes, you know, we all have the power to frame and develop whatever type of experience that we want. However, we can't disregard what's going on in the world. And so we don't, we don't disregard COVID. We don't disregard the precautions that people are taking for it. However, we will not participate. We will not put our currency in anything that has to do with COVID. Our currency will go towards the experiences that we want to have. Our currency will go towards things that we would like to keep seeing in abundance. You know, the COVID-19 is not something that we are stressing about, that we feel fully led to participate in, in any type of way. And that is just our choice, you know? And I, I think that Joe Biden really pushing out this law, requiring the airlines to require this is showing you that America really isn't in favor of your beliefs right now, you know? Even if you think that your beliefs is better and best for the peace of mind of the people, for the love of the people, for the for the development and growth of the world, you know, it doesn't matter. It is like, it's like, um, it's very, it's the energy of very like forcing, um, forcing people, like forcing people to participate, playing off of people's fears to get home, you know, because we was definitely in a state of fear at a point. We were definitely at a state of disbelief. We were definitely at a state of like all these things. So, don't get it twisted. This is not an easy path, but we understood that, you know, this is something that we chose. Um, so yeah, the biggest thing that I think I, I, I personally struggled with was while we were trying to get home, it was a huge language barrier and people kind of in, in their own way telling us that this is impossible, that it's not possible you can go home in this way. You know, like, it's not against the law to go by ground and then fly where you gotta fly. There was nowhere that said that. So I don't know why people really couldn't grasp that, like, that's what we were gonna do some way, somehow, you know? And I will, I did vlog the entire experience of being in Tulum, being in Mexico City and being in Monterey, Monterey Mexico. So once I'm done editing that video, you can go ahead and check it out. It'll be linked down below. And so, yeah, I really appreciate y'all. Like, I appreciate this last year. I appreciate everything um, that you, you have done to continue to support me in my journey, in my journey of seeking the real knowledge. And yeah, so I just wanted to let y'all know that it is possible to go to Mexico. It is possible to leave the country. You just might not be able to go as far as you want to, but Tulum was beautiful. If I ever had that type of time, I would drive back because it's, it's just worth it. You know, the food was worth it. Everything was worth it. It's just we as a society, as a people, we have to just learn that we can get far like by committing to staying committed to what, who we are and what we are you know what i'm saying like not allowing people so much access to our bodies for anything <laughs> not for testing not for vaccines not for practicing anything i am not a toy i am not a dummy i'm not i'm not i'm a living thing okay i'm shining with plants i'm growing with plants um I am developing, I'm shedding, I'm everything, you know, I'm living. You cannot test me for anything. I'm not a game. <laughs> I'm not something like just this entire concept. Like just look at the wording that we use 
when we are talking about Western world medicine and you'll find the truth. Like, I don't have to explain it. However, I just want to highlight, you know, certain aspects of it because it was a huge part of my experience this last week of, you know, really com committing to, you know, my beliefs, but in the process still gracefully understanding everybody else's and where everybody else is. But I'm just, just please work to not be a sheep and work to just be stronger in what you believe. And it's okay, baby girl, baby boy, you gonna find a tribe that really like, that sees that and that you, you know, y'all gonna do that together. But until then, don't be afraid to be the only one, to be the only person, be the only group of people that sees, see it this way, because you have your purpose. You are here for a reason. You know what I'm saying? Like we got, like, it's not about like, our perspectives being different and us coming from different places. It's about everybody just playing their role. I will help those who are like me. You will help those who are like you if you keep growing, if you keep doing what you're doing. Because I, that's all there is. Like, we just got to understand what we ask for. I ask to be here in this way. I ask for this trip to go this way. I didn't know I asked for it. I didn't know... I didn't understand what I was asking for or what I when I said I wanted to grow and I wanted to continue to develop and I wanted to continue to learn and I wanted to continue to reincarnate. I didn't understand all those things when I asked for it or what I didn't understand what came with it, everything that came with going out of the country during this time. However, I put myself out there. I put myself in a position to to learn what comes with it and to recognize that you can't fail. I could not fail in my journey back home. If I wanted to come home, I was gonna come home. How I came home, we all seen. And it was something that just wasn't planned that I couldn't have planned. So I'm just here trying, you know, spread the word, spread the information. Um, Just know that there is always a way like you want something go get it you can't fail failure doesn't it's an illusion it's an illusion to fail it's an illusion your doubt is an illusion whatever whatever is holding you back is an illusion and really it's literally that you have to see that you have to see through the illusion every time every time and know yourself through in that that's that's key like this trip taught me how to say no this trip taught me when to say yes. This trip taught me how to move with grace. This trip taught me so, so much. So I highly just recommend, you know, get pushing yourself to be uncomfortable because it's worth it. It is so worth it. We make it jumps through the generational curses and through the 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 past like boundaries and ceilings and everything, you know. So that's all I have, you know. Um, check this, check, just keep checking my videos out. I, I'm very open. I'm very, you know, if you got any questions, please email me, message me, everything. DM me. We got, we got a link up. Like, let me know. Cause, yeah. Peace, love, and light.